Okay. Phone call. Okay, here is a good old fashioned scrum. Watch him put the ball in the middle. Bloop. And everybody hooks at it with their feet. Um, okay. Now, they got a penalty. It's either for rotating or something crazy. Or not giving it dirt straight into the scrum. Um, okay, you can't. Oh, gosh. Now the score is 0 to 0 somehow. And, uh, now the, when they kick for a field goal, they kick a... Uh, it gets kicked f from the sort of position on the field where the try line was crossed. So you always want to get right between the uprights when you go into the try zone because it makes this field goal attempt easier. Oh. What you really want in a um, what you really want on your team is you want two big old fat blokes and then one short little hobbit sort of fella. Um, and, uh, your two big fat blokes go off as your props and then they hold the little hobbit fellow in between them and the position is called because he has to hook the ball with his feet he's referred to as the hooker and uh, so in the scrum there's two little fat hobbit folks um, uh, resting on the shoulders of their props and they're hooking at the ball with their feet when the ball gets kicked in and the props are just trying to prop him up and then behind them are your second rows or locks and they are uh, they're, you know, got their shoulders up against the uh, legs of the prop to keep pushing and push and push. And the easiest side of them is the flanker who's also pushing them with the... That's bullshit. Sorry. Um. Oh, good. Um. Ball's gone into this rather scenic, scenic roadway that's been built here. Anyway, I'll hook away at the ball and get it, uh, get it through their feet and uh, pushed out the back. At which point, the number eight man grabs it and. Uh, number eight or skipper and he uh, takes a ball and like this guy's gonna do whoosh, off it goes to the backs um, but your here it comes so there's look at your hobbit fell in the middle with his arms up over his head and the locks come in or props to the side the locks get behind them ready to kneel down taking a knee with the flankers behind them ready to scoot out in case something crazy happens I guess he's winning it, and not bad. Okay, now when you kick it, uh, there are, your team, the team kicking it, um, has to at least be behind the kicker before they can run for the ball. Um, which means that whenever you kick, unless you've got a really fast fell, you're almost certainly going to have a, uh, a, a transfer to the other team. Now, in theory, you, when the other team, when you get, there you go. Now, the nice thing about rugby is that, if you haven't watched it before, the right answer is always just run the ball, grab the ball, and run straight forward with it. Oh, nice! <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. Up. And, and here they 
go. So you watch when the ball goes down, that guy comes over and establishes his position. And uh, collapsing a ruck. This is going to get called any second, I think. Ooh, nice. There we go. Okay. where the ball crossed. Um, oh, the uh, score on the scoreboard is now zero. I guess it's zero to zero with one minute left. And here comes the kick. Here comes the kick. Almost a mall that formed there, which is when everybody's up on the, everybody's on their feet pushing back and forth. <laughs> now, uh, now we'll get him laterally here. No, he crosses his entire team. Generally, you psychologically you break the uh, field up into lanes, and you sort of stay in your lane like a swimming pool, because otherwise you get away from your support.
Look at these guys just not moving. And you're sort of you're on your own to just get behind the line of scrimmage before you resume play. Fun fact about number two, he ate breakfast this morning, and I don't know his name. There we go. There we go. Uh, and the great thing about a ruck is usually just whoever has the most guts can usually win because you get down, you get your shoulder underneath their shoulder, and you sort of push them out. Wrap it up. Number four has a large collection of hats, which he wears when he's not on the field. SMU's number three wishes to someday start a weasel farm. And there he goes. there gets up moves behind the line of scrimmage and then walks back around to resume play and that guy dropped it there we go and uh, yeah yeah if you get knocked down you can just get back I, normally when you're tackled the general rule is is you're supposed to be out of play so it's a judgment call um, if you're not careful, someone will put the boot in on you. Yeah. Oh. Huh. So the other guy in white's on team position. That's neat. Gets what was that three points? Yeah, three points. You'll notice here, SMU's got a nice flat line. That's how your defense is supposed to look. And then the offense has a sort of diagonal line at about a 45 degree angle with folks about 10 meters out, 10 or five meters out, five meters back or so, running down the line so that, because you can't do a forward pass. So the idea is 
they're in this bat diagonal line so they can always just keep throwing the pass and note them flattening out now they're on the uh, Okay, knock on. Oh, come on, guys. Another team has a nasty habit of playing the ball from the ground, which is a really good way to get a boot in your face. The wind just to see the other team pretty hard. Team support stays in his lane, and they should be going in as soon as they see he's going down. Ideally, you have the team calling him and telling him when to go down. And your forwards come in; they do a good job supporting. Then goes out to the wings and yell, "Go down!" and then gets in over him. Now you notice the blue guy there got his shoulder underneath the other dude. Generally, when you're coming in, you just put your shoulder right into their hip, lift their, grab their knee, lift it up, and you can usually get someone two or three times your size to sort of start stumbling back at that point. Um, and you just keep driving your feet. It's real simple. Wow. And so his forward pack, which is in the middle there, they're not getting over to where he should be. And Okay. So ideally just wing out because they've got numbers and they're not getting behind him to support him. Hopefully they can keep it. Hmm. Look at that some there's almost a mall there. Uh, a mall usually happens on purpose. You get a guy in there and he turns around instead of falling down and everybody behind him on his team starts pushing him forward and every other team starts pushing as well. It's kind of an official thing. Ah, here comes a wonderful uh, scrum. So you can probably watch the... Um... Oh. Oh. Holding the ball while he's on the ground.
you're supposed to release the ball when you get tackled, so you just kind of, you know, you just so happens that when your hands let go of it, it's usually rolling towards your team, aka your own goal, and so it gets away from their line of scrimmage. In the middle, and looks like they were calling fire there. And does our team come in quickly to support? Yes, they do. to support him so he has to make this work. He gets ahead. Oof. Not bad. No. Oh okay, get behind it, run in there and ruck hard and he's gonna get called for holding it down probably. Oh, good to see parents out there watching their son's final moments. Okay, running forward. He's got his guy coming up to support him there. And he's going to come over. Oh, ooh, not bad. Does his team come to support him? <laughs> okay, this looks like a... Oh, nope, will not. Now, you see, when the guys go down, the, the pull, you just roll out and get out of the ruck there. Uh, like their number one just did. You get out of the way, a lot of feet going on, and it's just considered polite to get out of the way and for your own safety. Oof. And his team should theoretically be running in hard. Oh, not bad. 